Hello everyone. Let's see today problem. Today problem is combination sum. So we are given a sequence of number and a target, and we need to return all unique combination of se sequence or subset whose sum is equal to target, and we can return our subset in any order. the most important thing in this problem is that we can repeat the element in the sequence unlimited number of times okay so let's first understand what the problem statement is telling us by looking at the example so let's look at this example we are given 2 3 6 7 and the target is 7 so for generating the subset how we generate the subset we have two choices for each element in the sequence so suppose we are given 2 3 6 7 okay and the target is 7 so we want to generate all the subset from this sequence whose sum is equal to 7 so firstly we will take 2 okay so we will go for the zero index so at this index we have two options one is we can select this 2 other option we have we will not select this 2 so if we select this 2 our subset will look like this 2 and here it will be empty again we will go for the next index okay so here it's 3 so again we will select this 3 so we have two options selecting and not selecting so our subset will become 2 and 3 and here we didn't select 3 so it's only 2 again we will go for this again we have two choices so this way we generate the subset from the given sequence of numbers because our subset is something which contains the element in the same order but some element get deleted or removed so if you say 2 3 6 is a subset of this 2 3 7 is a subset of this particular sequence so for each element we have two options either we can select that element or we can not consider that element so in this way we generate our subset okay so but in this problem they are telling us that this particular element can be considered unlimited number of times it will not get finished by single use so in this particular problem we are not telling to generate the subset because this particular 2 2 3 is not a subset of this because here 2 is getting repeated two times so this is a sequence that is generated from this particular given problem statement so in this problem we are not told to generate the subset we need to generate the sequence whose sum is equal to 7 and in that particular sequence our element can repeat n multiple n number of times or infinite times okay so we can't solve this problem using this approach because by using this approach we generate the subset so uh, let's see how we're going to do this so the sequence that is given to us is 2 3 6 7 and the target is 7 and we are given that we can repeat the elements okay so what this statement telling us that we can repeat 
this two infinite number of times. This means that this complete array or complete sequence is available for us at each point while making the decision. We can choose any one of these values because they are not going to get finished by single use. So at any point of the moment, we are having all these elements of the sequence for making our choices. So let's see its size is n. So at each step, we have n choices to make. We can choose any one of these element. So let's uh, see while creating the recursive tree. So firstly, we'll start our recursion. And this is obvious that we are going to solve this problem using recursion because here we need to enumerate all the possibility, all the possible answer. So where there is like enumeration kind of thing that we need to generate all possibility or look for all possible answer. So we have to go for recursion. We have no other choice left. So we'll start our recursive call with target value equal to seven. So firstly, I can select any one of these four values. So I select two. So my sequence will be two. Here I selected three. Here I selected six. Here I selected seven. Now for all these nodes, again, I have four choices to make. Okay, so this will become here. Our sequence will become two, two. Here it will become two, three. Here it will become two, six. Here it will become two, seven. Now again, see these two, six. This is sum up to eight. So we can't continue on this path because it's already giving us a greater than the target value. So there is no need to keep ex exploring this particular path because this is already sum up to more than seven and similar case with this now again we have four choices here to make so it will be two 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 okay for first branch here it will be two two three and similar similar okay so this particular sum up to seven so this is one our possible answer again for this particular node let me write it here two three again we have four choices one is select two other is select three other is select six and other is select seven so this particular values also sum up to seven so solving this problem by this approach, the problem is coming like, see, we are generating two, two, three and two, three, two. So these two sequence are similar. This particular sequence is a permutation of this above sequence. But as mentioned in our problem that we need to generate this sequence only once. We don't need to generate the permutation of this sequence. So this particular approach will give us the permutation of the sequences also that we don't need to generate. Okay. So how we are going to solve this problem? Okay. Let's say it's time complexity before moving forward. Let's say it's time complexity. So here target is always greater than zero and this particular tree length height will be equal to target because it's this particular sequence will start from one means it will be start from one or more it can't be zero or something it's mentioned in our problem so at most this tree can grow up to target value and at each point we have n choices to make 
so n choices so what will be the total complexity of this it will be target raised to the power n oh sorry n raised to the power target okay n is our total number of choices and t is our the height of the tree okay so it is n raised to the power t now let's see how we are going to eliminate this permutation generation of the sequence so let me take another color so we are given our sequence as 2 3 6 and 7 and our target is 7 and we have that we can repeat the numbers in the sequence infinite number of times so firstly we will start our recursive call we will select our 2 and the second option will take will not select 2 okay sorry will not select this is empty again with this 2 again we have option that we can select this 2 or not select this 2 so if we select this 2 our subset oh, sorry sequence will look like 2 2 here it look like 2 only again here also we have choices either we can select this two or not select this two so here our index is still maintained on the same item index is not growing as we do in our simple subset creation our index i keep on growing with this one call when we go for the next call our i becomes i plus 1 but here i remains the same and we keep on drilling in this way now again i will try to consider 2 again so it will be 2 2 2 so it is 8 it's greater than 7 so we need to stop here because if i will continue on this path i will keep generating a number that is greater than 7 so i will come it's uh, my recursive call will return from here it will come here again i will select the next item so this will give us one potential answer 2 2 3 2 and again i have two option so if i will add anything in this it will be greater than 7 so we need to it will backtrack eventually our recursive call will backtrack so what we are doing we are firstly taking one index and trying to replicate as many number of times as possible after this replication when i am going here i will not consider two any more because the consideration of two more number of times have already taken care by this call so here i will start taking consideration the next index i have taken care of the two so i will here again i will give 3 if 3 is not giving me correct again i will backtrack now i will come here so again i will choose 3 here or not choose 3 here similarly again choose 6 or not choose 6 so similar our tree will keep on growing and it will give us the correct answer so let's uh, let me draw uh, draw the tree for okay so firstly we will try to enumerate all the possible answer where two can replicate n number of times so firstly what we are doing here we are taking one index and we are replicating that particular index item as many times as possible after that we are shifting for the next index and we are just doing the same step there so first our recursive call it will consider to next it will not consider so our sequence will be empty again it has two choices 
so it will consider 2 again so it will be 2 2 here it will be only 2 again so again I have two choices okay so it will become 2 2 2 okay again I have two choices so again it will be 2 2 2 2 so it's already we have seen it's 8 so it will backtrack from here so it will say that there is no possible answer because if I consider 2 2 6 will come so it's uh, also greater than 7 so again I need to backtrack from here that okay I have done all the possibilities that if there is two multiply multiple application of 2 is coming 3 times there is no possibility so I will come for this 2 times so it will say that ok uh, 2 times is done so now we will consider the next index so that is 3 so 2 2 3 so this is 7 similarly I will just create all the possibility here after completing this possibility that ok with 2 replicated 2 times is there any possibility if there is possibility of having sum equal to 7 I will just copy it to my answer and backtrack and see is there any possibility that 2 only comes once and we can sum up to 7 so if there will be any possibility it will come in this particular subtree and we will copy it again we will go for this upper after completing that without considering 2 is there any possibility that we can sum up to 7 so here we can we have two options either we take 3 or I will not take 3 ok so similarly again I, I can take 3 or I can go for next item similar to this two particular case so this will keep growing in this manner and in this way we will generate all the possible answer so what will be the time complexity here See this height of this tree or this particular tree will be equal to at most target because it can't be n because see it will be n only when that we just taken care of i once and next for the next iteration we are not considering i we are considering i plus 1 but in this problem we are keep copying i n number of times infinite number of times so this can go up to target because our sequence minimum value is 1 so 1 we can generate if it's 7 so we can generate 1 7 times like 1 1 1 we can copy this value 1 7 times to come up with 7 so this tree height will be at most target and at each step we are having two decisions either take this item or not take this item so it will equal to 2 raised to the power target so it's better than this n raised to the power target so let's code this problem out So we have discussed our approach to solve this problem. Now let's start the coding. So firstly, few things we need to keep in our mind. That is, in this problem, the elements in the set can repeat itself. Okay, this means they will not be finished by single use. We can use each item in the sequence infinite number of times okay okay second thing is we need to find all the unique combination okay all the unique combination of sequences that sum up to target 
okay so firstly we are going to consider one particular element and we are going to keep our index at that particular item itself and keep repeating it and once we done the repetition of that item we move to the next item so let's firstly sort this array this will make our work easier so sort this array we can do without sorting also but sorting will help us keep our code simple okay so firstly we are going to sort our array so let's sort it okay now we need one array result array or list which will store the all the unique combination of sequences that will sum up to the target so let's call it result okay and one particular list will be holding the current set which is equal to or not equal to the target so that is our current list now we will going to create our recursive function so let define our recursive function so we need to provide two parameters first is our index the current index which is in action now and the target value so i and target okay so let's first define n as the length of our sequence okay so if our target is equal to let's say it something else because target already they have provided in the question so let's call it total okay so if our total is equal to target means we have found one sequence that is going to sum up equal to the target so we need to append this particular list in our result variable so rest dot append kar okay and we need to return okay otherwise for i in range okay so here we need to take some other variable so for j in range i till the length of the our sequence let's create a temp variable which is equal to total plus target okay oh, sorry total plus this current index item so that is hmm that is candidate of j if temp happens to be greater than target we need to break because this particular path will never lead us to target uh, target value because it is greater so any of we are going to add something it will again be greater so we need to come out of this recursion so that's why we will break this loop out okay otherwise we need to go for the next index so here we need to dfs i and here we'll provide temp because we have selected that particular item so that will be sum up in our total value so now our total value will become temp and the index 
see currently also we are taking i and in the next call itself also we are taking i itself okay and here we need to append this particular value in our current list so cut dot append candy dates j and cut dot pop okay we need to remove this item because we have done our sequence generation with this particular item so now we next need to consider next item so that's why you need to remove from our current list now we need to call our recursive function so we'll call it dfs 0 and sum is also 0 okay and we are going to return this result variable okay so particularly what this recursive function is doing firstly we are providing our first element in the sequence that is zero index and our sum because we have not considered anything so our sum is also zero so this is we are providing in our recursive function then this recursive function will check this condition if total is equal to target that is not true so it's go for this loop and it will start from zero index till the last index okay now it will include this uh, temp will calculate temp plus candidate j so this is 0 plus 2 so it will become 2 so 2 is <clears throat> greater than target no so it will go for the next statement here and this 2 will be appended in our current list and then again we'll go for dfs 2 and 2 now this both values become 2 2 again it will similar thing it will do again it will come here this condition false so it will go here again we'll do temp will become 2 plus 2 4 so 4 is greater than target no so again this will append this 2 to our current and again it will call this particular function with 2 so now this call our dfs i is 0 temp is 4 so in this manner this function will go on calling recursively and at last it if it find any result total equal to target it will append in this result variable and return so at last we'll get our answer in this result variable so we are returning this result variable let's run our code oh sorry here we need to put G. <coughs> okay because we are taking consideration of j index we can't put i because it will take zero or whatever all the time it is not going to take the jth index so that's why we need to provide j so let's run for the example test cases So it's giving correct output. Let's submit our code. So it's got submitted and it's efficient also. So let's check once it's time and space complexity. So it's space complexity as we have already discussed this recursive tree height will be our target and the number of choices we have two so the running time will be two raised to the power target and what will be the space complexity space complexity will be target because height of the tree will be target so it will be equal to the target yeah that's it for today thank you for listening